Hey everyone, we're playing Terraria again. It's been a few years at this point, but we're back on my old world and you guys might be wondering, hey, why are we playing Terraria? Well, if you guys are been keeping up, 1.14 just came out, the last update and the biggest update for Terraria ever. But yeah, this is the end, but it is not the end yet because we still have everything to explore with this new update. Now there is a lot and I'm not gonna try to cover it all. There changes everything with like, graphics sprites with the menus character creation world creation new world gen all of that so what i'm going to be doing here is hopping on my old world playing around trying to gather as many new items as possible showing them off and have a good time so first things first there's a new mode master mode and journey mode journey mode is kind of like creative but you have to get the item and you can spawn infinite of it but the one that we're looking at is master mode which is a step up from expert mode with new items and harder bosses so we're going to be looking at that mostly today so we just got to get a few quick things out before we start looking at that stuff first of all if you guys have been keeping up with my channel at all you know that this is actually a normal world when i first first started this world i was a terraria noob i played in normal i didn't even know expert had like special drops so what i did is i converted this world to an expert world and we're gonna quickly defeat the wall of flesh so we can get that extra accessory slot so let's go ahead and defeat the wall of flesh in this world real quick all right so we're down here in hell let's go oh, i forget how quick i move nowadays all right, let's go ahead and throw this down in there and we'll kill the wall of flesh and about two seconds, but, well, a little bit longer than two seconds. All right, let's go ahead down there. You can see it is an expert mode because I just got a treasure bag. Let's go ahead back up to the top, open this bad boy up, and let's get ourselves a new accessory slot. There we go. So now we have another accessory slot, which we're going to be using here. All right, and another very small, or this is not, this is not small. It's actually like the, one of the biggest things in the game. The final mining item, it's crazy good, is the drill containment unit. Thing, I'll show you guys actually in a second here. But um, yeah, the drill containment unit. It requires 40 luminite, 40 chlorophyte, 40 shroomite, 40 specter, 40 hellstone, and 40 meteorite. So if we make that, it is a mount. So right now I have my UFO, but let me show you guys. Let me show you what this does. It's freaking crazy. So let's go down here. And if so you can see it's a mount, you actually, you can't like attack all your stuff in, in it, but look how fast it is. Like this thing is absolutely nuts. Okay, so like look how fast that is and then compare it to just like my pickaxe. Like, yeah, my pickaxe is fast, but this thing, this thing is, ooh. It's like my pickaxe, but it hits like five, six blocks at a time. Like, I'm literally, I'm just running through the ground. This thing's absolutely nuts. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new master mode world, and we're just going to be fighting all of the bosses on it. So, our main base is always going to be here, but we're just going to have, we're going to make another world. Um, and you can see here, I did a little bit of prep before the video. So, let's take a look at everything. We have the pre-mode bosses, the slime, the bee, uh, I Cthulhu, and then we have um, the two crimson and uh, the bosses. Uh, I need to get another guide for the wall of flesh, but I have a bunch. Uh, we have Skeletron, which we can go to Skeletron's thing, but I also have this. Um, I have the lizard power cells for the golem. We have some of the events, so like the uh, the Christmas and the Halloween. We have the turning of crystal for the dungeon or whatever dwarf event. Then we have Duke Fishron. We have Moon Lord, and then we have the three mechanical bosses. And then in there, we also are gonna have Plantera. All right, guys. And last thing I swear before we go over to there, I will be redoing all my accessories because. Once again, this was literally years ago when I was a really big noob. Since then, I've created a bunch of new worlds. I've completed an expert and all that stuff. So I'm a little bit more knowledgeable. So I'm going to go ahead and redo my accessories here. All right, everybody. So let's make the first item here. If we go to Tinker's Workshop, we'll make the Avengers Emblem. And with the Avengers Emblem, we should be able to combine it. And then, yep, the Celestial Emblem right there. Bam. So there is one new accessory that I need. All right, everybody, so these are the accessories that I'm gonna go with for now. There's a few things that I wanna make, but I'm too lazy to do it right this moment. So, Celestial Shell, Destroyer Emblem, Mana Flower, Wings, with the Celestial Emblem and the Worm Scarf. I wanna make the phone and I wanna make um, the Celestial Cuffs, but I need to wait for that dude to roll around to buy those, so. 
I'm going to do those later. But as you can see here, I've got all of my spawning items in my inventory. I've got some potions to help me with the bosses. And I've got all of my items and mana potions. So I am all set. So right in front of you, I'm going to go save and exit. Single player. This is my person, which 158 hours, by the way. Um, and then let's create a new world. And this is all new. So name, uh, master, master... Uh, mood whatever seed I don't care large let's make it master and then let's make it technically doesn't matter let's make a corruption all right let's create it and then creating a new character has brand new hair brand new all of that stuff if you guys want to see it uh, either check it out yourself or look at someone else's tutorial video but um, yeah I'm just gonna be playing I'm gonna show you guys what I find all right, so we got our first master world. Let's go ahead and jump right in it. So this is a brand new world. You can already see some changes, new trees. That's one thing that's going to kind of suck about our old world um, is it doesn't have all this new gen. So like these trees and stuff like that, which that's why we're going to be on worlds like these. But um, yeah, we can start off with the first boss. But first, let's just keep, let's just look around for a minute. Um, obviously, there's a bunch of new items, so I'll try to find as many as I can just kind of roaming around um yeah let me uh shuffle around my inventory and we'll get started right away with some bosses all right so let's start off with the slime crown let's go ahead and just summon right him in you can see now that it does have uh health bars which is new which is super super cool oh and he shut up out of nowhere yeah let's go ahead and kill him in like two seconds let's go ahead and spawn in a couple of them and then we'll open up the treasure bags together Where's he at? Where's he at? Okay, let's just let's just kill him a few times. Get some get some bars going. And this will also be a kind of like a nice refresher of like kind of what boss we've already defeated in this game. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new items. Let's just throw away the junk. So, for every boss that you kill in Master Mode, you do get their relic. So, this is a King Slime Relic. This is just a decorative piece that kind of shows, wow, you defeated him. Um, there's actually, there's going to be a bunch of relics here just because, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw some away because I'm going to have a lot. Alright, guys, I went back to my other world and I got myself a Defender's Forge so I could keep all my items so my thing isn't clustered. So... Let's go ahead and let's just quick open some of these. Oh, and Master Mode gives you another accessory slot. So we actually have another one. Um, so we'll have to find something to put in there. Oh, and there it is, guys. Okay, that took a lot more tries than I thought it would. But a Royal Delight. Basically, it just summons... Yeah, that little, little jelly thing. Kind of cute. I like it. You know, more fine by me. I love that type of stuff. All right, guys. The next boss we're going to fight here is uh, the Aya Cthulhu. And then we're going to go ahead and fight the bees. So for the Aya Cthulhu, we're going to have to wait until nighttime. So let's go ahead and wait for that. All right. And we found our corruption. So we'll be able to fight the Devourer of Worlds, the Eater of Worlds. I forgot what that thing is called. And here's our jungle. This is where we're going to fight the Queen Bee. Can I fight the... Oh, I can fight the Queen Bee here. Oh, I didn't even realize. I mean, obviously it's enraged, but I don't know if I can fight it here. Well, let's go ahead and... <laughs> I guess let's do the Queen Bee right now, and then we can do the Eye Cthulhu in a minute here. And there is the Relic. Let's just go ahead and fight it a few times. Alright guys, let's go ahead and fight the Aya Cthulhu now. Actually, we can do both the Aya Cthulhu and the B. Let's, get, let's just do both of them right now. Alright, so guys, obviously we got the Queen Bee Relic, which is really, really cool. 
And then we have both of our bags. And the Aya Cthulhu Relic, which is another, obviously, that's pretty cool as a new trophy. All right, so I think those are the two items that are new, is the Sparkling Honey and then the Suspicious Grinning Eye. I don't know if the Aviators are new. I don't think so. Suspicious Eye First, it just gives you this nice little pet. You can see what's cool about this one is this little animations. It switches it from, like, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's actually really cool. And what about the Sparkling Honey? And that just summons a cute little bee. Nice. So it, I think these are just like little cute versions of the bosses themselves. It's actually really kind of cool. All right, so we got the royal jelly, we got the suspicious grinning eye, and then we've got, um, where is it, the sparkling honey. All right, everybody, so I think nighttime is almost over here. And you can see some of the new trees. I'm really trying to get to Skeletron real fast. Apparently, he wasn't at that other end of the world, so I'm trying to make it real fast, this other end of the world. And I'm just going to click on him right away and hopefully kill him in, like, literally two seconds. We are, okay. Let's go ahead and try to kill him really, really quickly. That was very, very quick. Okay. Uh, I don't think we got the item that we needed, though. All right, guys, we're here at another world, at another Skeletron's castle, but it is daytime, so we're going to have to wait. And on the way here, I did check a chest, and I found a new item, can of worms. So if you open it, right-click on it. It gives you worms. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give Skeletron another try for the item. Is that it? Uh, nope. All right, guys, while we're waiting for night for Skeletron, let's go ahead and just beat the wall of flesh real quick. Why? Oh, actually, there's one right there. Oh, I was like, let's just make it. Let's just go ahead and. Throw it in the lava there. Let's go ahead and beat the wall flash. Maybe we can get its item first. The Skeletron's annoying because I'm going to have to go to a new world every single time because I don't have the clothier in a, in a master world. So, All right, let's see what we got. All right, so we got the wall of flesh relic, but nothing else yet. All right, guys, so I'm going to sit here and wait for nighttime. But before we do that, let me go ahead and show you guys two more new items. I think this is new, a mace. It's just an early game uh, melee weapon. You swing it around, and once you let go, it just kind of flings out in a direction. Kind of cool. Uh, I started a new world and played Master Mode with my friends, and this is actually the weapon that I just started using right off the bat in the beginning. So, pretty cool weapon. And then if you hold it, it just stays there and it hurts enemies, which is kind of kind of cool. And then the other is a sand castle bucket. I found this just in a random chest. Oh, I need sand, don't I? So if I get sand, I can place sand castles down. Okay, dude, that's, I mean, not a very useful item, but that's pretty cool item. So there you go, two more new items this time. Um, Did I get an item? Uh, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, while we're just on it, let's go ahead and kill the mechanical bosses. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and start with the mechanical worm first. Let's go ahead and get these up in here. And, of course, it's still going to be easy. I've got end game stuff, so. All right, well, there we go. We got the destroyer relic. But it doesn't look like we've gotten any special items, so let's go ahead and keep fighting it. And it looks like we got it the, the, really quick, the deactivated probe, okay? Well, we're going to take a look at that after in a second here. Let's go ahead and fight fight the eye. We, we're, we've still got nothing from Skeletron, uh, but that's fine. The eye is going to be a lot easier, so let's just go ahead and do these two. Oh, it looks like we got <laughs> for the eye the first time. So it's just Skeletron then. So it's just Skeletron that we need to get. He's being a little bit annoying. There it is, guys. There it is. There it is. All right. So we got all three items. Let me go ahead and clean up my inventory and we can take a look at all three. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a look at the three new items. So we got the deactivated probe. Which is, oh, I thought it was going to be a probe, not the worm itself. That's actually really, really cool. Let's look at the twins. And that is basically just the Ikathulu, but with two of them. And then do they wonder? 
Okay, so they don't turn into mouths because the twins didn't do that. And then lastly, we got little Skeletron, and then we got a literal little. I was the man. These are actually really really cool. I definitely like these, and especially if you have like a weird cult following to a certain boss, you can get their little minifigure. That's really really cool actually. All right, well there is those three. All right, guys, we got a crimson next to us. So let's go do the Devourer of Worlds while we're at it, since we're right here anyway. Let's go ahead and spawn in the first one right here. And there he goes. Oh, no, he's not dead yet. All right, did we get... All right, there we go, Rithing Remains. So that is for the Eater of Worlds. What is this one? So this one's just like the other one, but just the uh, Eater of Worlds version, pre-hard mode, or yeah, pre-hard mode version. So there is that one. All right, guys, so we're in another new world. Well, we gotta wait for nighttime once again for Skeletron. So let's go ahead to the ocean and let's fight Duke Fishron while we're at it. Oh, he's hard, dude. In Master Mode, he's hard. Yes. The Nebula Blaze. This is the one that I'm looking for. Not not this one. This one's really good for AoE. But that's not what I'm looking for. But I do need Mythical or Demonic on it. Right, and it has Demonic on it. So, we're good. Let's go ahead and buy some more potions from the Wizard. And then let's go back to the world. Another try here with maybe this new weapon. I think it might go better this time. Oh, I actually did it. I'm insane. But now I'm gonna have to do it multiple times. Okay, but what? Why is it? Why is it like this now? What did I do? Why is it golden? Oh, that is it right there right there. Pork of the Sea. Alright, so we got his item. Cool. Alright, let's take a look. Let's see what this looks like. And of course, just a baby little Duke fish on. So, we actually have the fish on mount, and we have this. You know what? Actually, let me... Let me do this. Let me open up his bags. I'm pretty sure I can get a fish on mount. Yeah, the shrimpy truffle. So, I can literally have fish on with a fish on mount. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, okay. There is his. Nice. Let's go ahead and give him another try. Oh, I forgot that I can't be in this. Alright, let's see. Did we get it? Goat Skull, we did! Okay, we got Wall of Flesh. Alright, cool. It's another one that's down. Uh, let's go ahead and back up to the surface and check that one out. So, here is... Oh, this is a mount. Okay. That's kind of cool. This is a mount. And it's kind of fast. And it jumps pretty high. Okay. I dig that. Okay, okay. Alright, so I don't know if the wall flesh has any more items. More than just the goat skull. But uh, at least we got this one. So let's keep trying to do Skeletron. A Skeletron again. Ooh, my game lagged hard. And... Chippy's couch. Well, we got a special item. Not the one that I wanted, but we did get a special item. Hmm. And obviously, if you guys don't know, Chippy's a YouTuber, but... I mean, cool, I guess. Not what I needed. Alright guys, I'm having a little bit of trouble finding Plantera, so quickly, let's go fight the brain. Alright, let's go ahead and spawn the brain in for the first time. There we go. Alright. 
Alright, let's see. My inventory is very bad right now, but... Alright, so there is the brain relic. I don't think I got any items. Alright guys, I think we got the item. Yeah, brain in a jar. There we go. Finally, we got the brain. And is there a new item in this chest? There isn't. But let's go ahead and take a look at the brain. So, just as I expected, it's just a floating little brain. And I'm pretty sure there's already something that kind of looks like that. Um, yeah, okay, pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and try Skeletron for the millionth time, please. Still nothing. Alright everybody, real quick, I'm still just running around trying to get all the bosses and I'm trying to actually fight a new boss. We'll see if that can even happen, but we did receive a new NPC. The Zoologist. Yes, right there, Robin. So, it looks like a box. Okay, what can we buy from her? A dog tail? Just vanity, dog ears? Summons, oh okay, so that's a summon. A kite? Another kite? Cat license? Let a cat... Okay. Squirrel hook and prevents you from hitting critters. Okay. Let's see what this guy does. What is that? Looks like a little mini plantera. Hmm. That is weird. You'd think you'd get that from Plantera, no? Okay, that's really cool, actually. And then, I don't know what this does. Okay. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a cat later. Okay, well, anyway. There's the zoologist, which is cool. So, uh... Is this the event? Okay, so guys, long story short, I think in this update, the first time you defeat a boss or something, there's this lantern event. Now, I don't know what the lantern event does, but it's a thing that does happen. I'm going to go ahead and place this thing in here for now. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm still trying to get uh, more Skeletrons, still haven't gotten one. I'm trying to get a Plantera Bulb to spawn in a Master World. I'm just not having luck with that, and right now I'm trying to find one of the new bosses. So... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep playing and I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna end the episode off here. I wanted to fight to do bosses, but man, I don't... There's just not enough information out yet, and I just don't know how, where to get them, where to spawn. So, probably next episode we'll try to fight one of the new bosses, but for now let's just kind of take a look. So we got a bunch of these relics, and you know what, I might as well put... Might as well put these out really quickly. And we fought most of the bosses, most of them, not all of them, but most of them. And the rest of them, obviously, we'll finish at a later date, probably next episode. Now, I need to figure out where to put these. I actually do not have a space for them. Um, but for now, we can just default them to being down here. And we can put them All right, just do more. So those are the ones that we've gotten so far. And then... Um, we still, we don't have Plantera, we don't have the Golem, and we don't have the Moon Lord. And then, I don't know if I'm missing anything, but... Yeah, those are the, the ones that I know. And then, we didn't do too much... We still haven't got Skeletron's uh, special item, but we're missing quite a few special items. Here are the ones that we have. Then we got Chippy's Couch, which is... Actually, let me place that down see how that looks. It's a YouTuber's thing. Um, got a bunch of bags and stuff. And yeah, and then we got the aviators and the, the sand bucket. I found a bunch. We f look at the we looked at the mace. All right, guys, but I am going to end the episode off here. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like in the comment as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.